I think you've made a mistake, my friend. We don't have to pay you. But, officer, I have to make a living. I didn't mean any offense. Please let me go. Hey, we work really hard trying to protect the likes of you, you miserable wretch. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> oh, I'll teach you to cross me. That's lunch, boys. Help yourselves. <laughs> no, please don't do it. <laughs> oh, Come on, boys. <laughs> Let's help us yell. <laughs> Cut that out. Stop it at once. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Well, 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 what do we got here? Quite a temper, huh? Want to pick a fight with us, girl? <laughs> Lolita, wait! Oh. What do you want, boy? You looking for trouble? <laughs> hey, now, wait a minute, fellas. Let's not be too hasty. Get him! <laughs> ah! ah! Yeah! Oh, oh, dear. Better luck next time. You cheeky brat. Stand still while I hit you. Gotcha now. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. What'd you do that for? It wasn't me. Uh, I didn't uh, do it. Shut up. Oh. Why, you oh, little... Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. You will be hurt. Oh, Diego. Huh? Lieutenant? That's enough. Oh. Huh? Are you all right, Miss Lolita? You should keep your soldiers under control, you know. My, you have a temper on you today, but you are right, of course. Sir, we should be continuing our patrol now. Hmm? Yes, Gonzalez. Nothing but bullies. Hey, Diego, is that you? It's me, Aro. How are you? Aro. It's been a long time, Diego. I didn't know you were back. Why didn't you look me up? Well, <laughs> I, uh... Take that and that. Come on, Diego. You're not as good as me. Look out, a snake. Help a snake, Diego! Oro, you haven't changed. Aren't they great, those soldiers? Oro, how could you? They're just overgrown bullies full of their own importance. They're a menace. I mean it. I wish I had a great uniform just like Gabriel's. How childish. Huh? Girls just don't understand what a real man is. Diego, say something. Tell him. Well, I suppose they do look kind of smart in their uniform. Oh. Just you wait and see. Someday I'll join the army and be like Gabriel. Oh, no. What about the gunpowder? We got enough to blow the base sky high. So where did you hide it? In a cave in the mountains. Are you sure it will be safe there? Of course it'll be safe there. Don't worry. No one ever goes up there. Not even the soldiers go that far up. No one's ever gonna find it, okay? Stop worrying. One day very soon, we will unite our forces against the army. We will rise up and defeat them. That's right. Faro, is that you? I didn't hear you come in. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dad. I've just got back. Is something wrong, son? You look pale. Oh, no. I'm okay. Thanks, Dad. Hmm. <laughs> Phew. God, that was close. This must be my lucky day. Hmm. So. Gunpowder, you say? It's true. They said they had enough to blow the base sky high. They've hidden it in the mountains. Well, it's very interesting, but I need to know who's planning this rebellion. 
Uh, I can't say for sure, but I heard them plotting. It's all true, I swear! You wouldn't be after the reward, I suppose, with false information. But it's true! You must believe me, I heard them talking! It's all very entertaining, I'm sure, but I'm afraid I don't believe a word of it. Perhaps Gabriel will listen. <laughs> <laughs> then what precisely am I supposed to be listening to, Gonzales? No. Oh. oh! I can't believe the lieutenant is falling for such a stupid story. Oh boy, he must be falling ill or something. Have you found it yet, Gonzalez? Not yet, sir. Ah! Why do I get all the dangerous jobs? I'm sure I've broken my leg. Ah. Oh. What's this? Ah, I found it! It's the gunpowder! It's a volcano! Quickly, everybody, run! Oh, oh, oh no, it can't be the gunpowder. What a pretty sight. Bang goes a little plot. <laughs> Here's the reward. You've earned it. I don't want the reward money, sir. Huh? Please, sir, let me join the army instead. Join the army, you? Ha, huh, you don't know the first thing about being a soldier, do you? Hmm, I don't see why not, if that's what you want. What? Really? You can if you get us more information. Yes, sir! Yahoo! <laughs> I'm in the army now! I'm in the army now! Huh? Hey, who did that? It was me, Aro. Sorry. Just watch it, okay? I didn't recognize you. You're wearing an army uniform. That's right. I'm in the army now. Hey, <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> He's lost his marbles. Well, Lolita, and how are things going between you and Diego? What do you mean, Mother? Are you going to marry him? What makes you think I'd want to marry him? He's stupid and childish. Hm. Lolita! Diego's a very nice boy and his family are very rich. I wouldn't let him get away if I were you. Oh, Mother, money isn't everything, you know. What about love? Romance? Don't you care how I feel? Of course I care, darling. But you must be more sensible about this. Money is more important than love and happiness. Mother, I can't believe you really just said that. Hey, Katerina. Have you heard the news? They say that Aro has joined the army. Aro? Aro. Now there's a thought. They're almost as rich as Diego's family. What do you think, Lolita? If you don't like Diego, why not marry Aro? I'd never marry a soldier. I hate them. <laughs> oh, dear. You're still such a child, Lolita. An informer? I can't believe it. It can't be one of us. I trust every man in this organization. But the soldiers went straight to the gunpowder. They knew where to look. I'm sure of it. If this is true, we are in trouble. I can't believe we've been betrayed by one of our own men. What should we do? We must lay low for a while. Keep our heads down. Okay. Oh. Aro, is that you? What do you think, Dad? How do I look? Why are you wearing that? I was given it as a reward. Reward for what? Huh, I gave some information to the army. Oh. You what? Oh, don't worry, Father. I didn't tell them anything about you. It was you. You told them about the gunpowder. You! 
Oh. Now, don't be angry. Now we don't have to do what they say anymore because I'm one of them now. I've joined the army, got it? You traitor! Get that uniform off this minute! Get it off! Stop oh. it! You fool, don't you understand what you've done? I understand, all right. You're jealous. Jealous of my success. What does he know, anyhow? You'd think he'd be proud knowing his son's in the army. Oh, no, not him. There's no pleasing him. Whatever I do is wrong. So he sold me two for the price of one. How about that? Hey, you there. I'd like this apple. What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? Huh? What do you want? Keep away from me! So, you want to fight, eh? Well, come on then, see how you like this! Ah! <laughs> They'll be sorry! So, you must arrest these ruffians at once! We have better things to do with our time, huh? Oral, I have a very important job that I want you to do. Important? What is it, sir? You seem to be very good at finding out information, so I want you to find Zorro's hideout. His hideout? Succeed, and I will put you in charge of Army Intelligence. Army Intelligence? Yes, sir! No problem, sir. You're not really going to make him head of intelligence, are you? Huh. Of course not. We'll get rid of him when we've got what we want. Come on, Dad. You should know where Zaro's hideout is. Tell me. Come on, tell me. I'm sure you know. My promotion depends on it. You're what? Ah! You are the only one in the village who admires the army. Everyone else hates them for what they make us suffer. You're a disgrace. Get out of my sight this minute! Hmm. What am I going to do? The army is hated by everyone, and my son has joined them. I wish Oro were more like your son, Vega. Diego is far too quiet and shy for my liking. That's the problem. I'm all finished, Father. He's better off being quiet. Aro's getting too ambitious. Huh? Now he wants promotion by finding out for them where Zaro's hideout is. Oh, I'm sorry, Vega. Enough of my problems. I must be going. Goodbye, friend. Poor man. He has no end of problems with that son of his. Looks like Zaro's in trouble, too. Bernard, what oh, are you doing? I'm sorry. I was hungry. Oh, it's you, Diego. You scared me. Bernard, would you do me a big favor? Sure, Diego. I may come up with something if I keep a watch on Dad. He might lead me to Zaro. <laughs> What's that? Who's there? Zaro! He's gone! Blast! He's too quick for me! I could have had him! <laughs> huh? What's this? A letter? It's from Zaro to father. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the place. Surround the hut. Now we'll see. Are you quite sure Zorro is in there? Absolutely. My information is reliable, sir. He's probably in there right now, plotting with his rebels. Okay, you go in and check it out and see if they really are in there. 
What, me? Going there? Of course, it's your job. We are acting on your information. But, sir, I, I'm not... Obey uh... your orders, soldier. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Hello, Mr. Zaro, are you in there? Uh, whoa! Oh, oh. <gasps> it's empty. So he's not here then. Gonzalez, set an ambush. We'll capture those bandits when they return. Not so fast, Lieutenant. What? Nice of you to drop by. It's a trap. <laughs> wow, you sure are dumb falling for a trick like that. Uh, let me at him. What are you waiting for, you men? Kill him! Oh! Ah! Take that! No! Oh! <laughs> you fools, get after him! Attack! Get him! If only I could get this open! It's too hard for me! Now I've got you. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Come on, Zorro! Time's up for you, I'm afraid. Oh no! The signal! Move! Move, go on! I think it's time for a bath, guys! Oh, uh, uh, look out! Uh. Uh. Do you hear me? I just thought it was time you cleaned up your act. From now on, you can start being nice to the townspeople. Ah. Oh, that was close. Earl, this is all your fault. You let us into a trap, you blundering fool. You're not fit to be a soldier. But, sir, I didn't know. Enough. Get out of my sight! You're a disgrace to your uniform! Diego! What's wrong? They say you won't even eat. I was wrong, Diego. I made the most terrible mistake. Tell me about it. I wanted so much to be a soldier, be like them, and now I've let my father down. 
And now I feel so ashamed of myself. There is a way to make it up, you know. Eh? How? What can I do? Talk to your father. He'll understand. My father? Father, I've come to apologize for my behavior. I'm sorry I was wrong to join the army. You were right, Father. They're no good. I want to help you fight against them. Let me fight beside you. Okay, son. Thanks, Dad. Now you're on our side. We can fight together. Yeah, come on then. I want to fight like Zaro. Come on, Diego. Have at you. Oh, boy. In next week's exciting episode of Zaro, an innocent man is accused of dumping poison into the sea. The army set out to arrest him. Lolita turns against her father and, in turn, the innocent man's daughter turns against him. Only one man can help him now. The time is running out. It may be too late now, even for sorrow!